In this tutorial, we are going to look at bar chart. Make sure you are using uh, IntelliJ 2021.2.1. Let's say Java FX 52 with uh, JDK 16.0.2. Okay, here I'm not using any dependencies. Finish. Uh, for simplicity, I prefer not to use uh, modular programming. So let's remove uh, module import Java. So they will be consistent with uh, previous tutorials. Okay. So let's add uh, JavaFX SDK library. You can delete it all at once. Java. In my case, under program files, Java. Under JavaFX SDK 16 library. We need at least four of them. You can add them all. Apply, OK. For naming convention here, mm, let me change to bar chart. You can keep the same name, uh, but for my case, I prefer to use something more meaningful. So here we go to refactor, rename, and then change to view. So we can change the file name. Also, the name used in our project. So, view fxml, file name also change. So, we do the same thing. Let me keep it as a uh, application. Refactor. Okay. Let me do one more. Refactor, rename. I will just change to controller. So name is more consistent, okay. Let's open in SimBuilder. Let's copy uh, path to controller class. Delete. Use uh, anchor pane. Paste back. Controller. And color pane, I'm going to add chart, bar chart. You can name the uh, title, then uh, category, axis, and the number axis. For label, I will say um, months. For X axis. So FX ID I will say X axis. For Y axis, we can say income. Let's say measurement is thousands. FX ID you can say Y axis. Okay, bar chart, uh, hang on. ID should be bar chart. Title should be uh, revenue. Okay. Seems okay now. Name three objects and then label them all. Okay, let's save. Let's go back to IntelliJ. FXML, you can add um, FXML to data field. X axis, then Y axis. 
So we have a three data field. We change to private. Then you can add annotation. You can add it one by one. Or you can simply type it by yourself. FXML, FXML, three of them. So if you look at here, they actually comes with the project, so we don't use it anymore. So let's uh, remove it. Implements, initializable interface. So we can implement one abstract method called initialize. So this is the place where we can uh, add bar chart. So X, Y chart series. We are going to use X string and then double for Y assets. New X, Y chart. You can set the name of your um, series. Let's say get data. I'm going to add maybe two or three months for series 2020. Let's say January. You can add a double value. Then we can repeat. Let's say uh, two more change to February, March. Let's say a minor change. Now you can add your series to bar chart. Get data. You can say add all, or you can use add. Eventually I'm going to have one more series, so I'm going to use add all. Okay, let's uh, add some comments. So first one is create um, data series object called series 2020. Next one we can set user this playable uh, name for this series. Then we are adding actual data to this series 2020. The last one we just add series to um, pass out. Let's build a project. Okay, uh, something wrong. Okay, missing uh, equal sign. Okay, let's try again. Okay, run this project. Edit configuration, application. Our main class is Application Java. Okay, Application. Then we are going to add um, VM options. Module paths to your JavaFX SDK library. So you can uh, copy, paste it, and then add modules. We are using at least three of them. JavaFX controls, JavaFX FXML, and JavaFX graphics. Apply, okay. It should work this time. 
Okay, but uh, with uh, three months is January, February, March, we have a label 2020. Let's add one more series. Change to 21. Let's set the label to 21. Then I'm going to have a series. Let's change to 21. Actual data, I will make it slightly bigger. 300, 400, 500. So we can add one more series. 21. That's all. We have a two series now. Rebuild project. Run it. So we can see that there are two of them, orange and then yellow, 2021. 20, okay. Just in case, let me uh, show you what I'm using. Uh, I'm using IntelliJ uh, latest version. So it's um, slightly different from previous versions. So if you look at here, I'm using 2021.2.1. 20, That's all, thank you.